Hello and welcome back. So Venus just entered Cancer today and this is a very warm and nurturing type of just energy we're about to come into. I know last week we had a lot of up and down. Um, you know, we had the chaotic eclipse energy, which, you know, it lasts for days. Like it literally, it lasts for days. We also had um, Saturn being retrograde, Pluto being retrograde, and then Mercury stationing retrograde. And, um, you know, there were, <laughs> there was just some funky energy going on. I don't know how else to describe it. Um, I just know that there were some people who are in tears, others who are feeling very low. If you were not grounded last week, if you were not um, meditating and taking the time out, then you probably had a little bit of some difficulty with last week's transits. So this week we have, of course, Venus going into Cancer. And so um, I picked out this card specifically because Ace of Cups, um, it is ruled by all of the water signs, but most importantly, Cancer, because this this um, card in general is um, the planet that goes with it is the moon. And so Cancer is the only sign that we have that is also ruled by the moon. And so that's why I picked out this one. And then I chose the Hierophant because the Hierophant is very much, I feel like, Cancer vibes. Um, you have to feel secure, you have to feel um, safe. And also the Hierophant is all about, um, you know, in a relationship, this would be like the ultimate commitment. This would be marriage, this would be engagement. This would be things that are here to stay. Um, that's in a love reading. If you're not doing a love reading, then this is more towards um, seeking like information or wisdom um, from someone, I guess you could say, with more knowledge than you. So this could be someone within your church. This could be going to a parent for advice. Um, you know, this would be seeking out a guru or something like that. But in love, it is one of just commitment and of building something long-term that is stable. And um, if you have Venus in Cancer natally, then you would understand that in order for you to open up, in order for you to thrive in love, you have to have that sense of security. You have to feel nurtured and like your needs are being met. It cannot just be your material needs, like having a roof over your head. You would also need that emotional bond, like feeling like that person is on your team. They are for you and you guys work together. You know, almost that feeling of just protection and anything that life could throw at you. And so moving into this nurturing energy, um, I think it's very loving, but I also wanted to talk about, um, you know, some things that, uh, you know, Venus and Cancer might, not only natally, but even with transits, some things that you might run into. Now, since this sign um, does need does need that connection, that feeling of safety, and like they don't have to worry that you know you're going to betray them, or that you're going to work out, walk out on them. When you are, let's say, getting to know someone, um, you know, th this could definitely, I guess, tip the scales a little bit too much. This could be um, need, 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 and not enough independence. Um, I guess it is. It's definitely safer to have either your spirituality or your religion as being, you know, your harbor, like your safe weight, you know, that anchor that keeps you grounded and feeling that you are always loved and you are supported. Because sometimes when we when we put that feeling or that need into other people, you know, of course people are human. There are times where we could be, you know, disappointed. So if you find yourself needing more out of your partner and um, you see that you're not getting that, I think, you know, one, I would step back and look at what you could change within yourself to make you feel like you are seen or that you are heard or that you are loved and supported. So you would try to kind of build yourself up first. If after doing that, you are still not feeling like you are attracting um, the nurturing love and care and affection that you need because Cancer is a very um, nurturing sign and uh, they're definitely some of the best cuddlers. <laughs> Whether you are, you know, if you have Cancer maybe in your rising or in your sun or if you have it in your Venus or your Mars, it definitely is uh, one of the better cuddlers out of the zodiac. Um, 
Also with Cancer, uh, most people don't know this, but Cancer is a money sign. And so with Venus moving into Cancer, this is actually really supportive for our money. Um, you know, we just had Cancer moving out of Gemini and you know, Cancer moving out of Gemini. <laughs> we have Venus moving out of Gemini and that's great for making connections. That's great for that flirty energy and learning new things and sharing new things and just feeling like you have you know so many people who want to get to know you like that's a great energy for that but with it moving into cancer our money and that need of feeling safe and secure cancer cannot feel safe and secure especially in love if they are living somewhere and they're having to worry about where money for rent is coming from or if they are late on their payments you know it could be their phone bill it could be the electric bill they cannot feel safe and secure and thrive if those things are not taken care of first and so cancer is one of the money signs and uh, these people are resourceful they know how to get money whether it is from partnering up with someone and that person bringing in money into the home or them going out on their own and making sure that they are engaging in activities or they're making plans for things that are going to bring them back that money that is going to help them to feel safe and secure. And so with especially cancer men, um, they definitely are more so of the, I would say frugal type. You know, there are some things that they just wouldn't <laughs> spend money on. Um, you know, these are the type that if they see, let's say, an advert for fruit or meat being on sale if they go to that store they expect to get that on sale and so let's say that they ran out of that particular product that was on sale they would definitely go to like the cashier or whoever they need to talk to and talk about getting a rain check so they can come back and they can get that sale cancer loves you know a good deal they love saving but you have to understand sometimes when it, it feels like they are a little um stingy with their money and their resources you have to understand it's because most of it is going into other things that's going to just lend them a stronger feeling of feeling safe and secure so this could be going into their home this could be going into a future home this could just be their um, savings account or something like that and so cancer is pretty funny they can uh, just make money appear <laughs> kind of out of nowhere this could be other people's resources or this could be taking on um, a new side project they're just naturally really really good at this so with um, Venus transiting cancer um, you will feel more of a pull towards things that are going to be more long-term and stable and that are going to continue um, you know bringing you resources whether that's money or that's connections um, or if that's love relationships where you have to wonder whether they're gonna actually text you back that day or you have to wonder if they're actually going to show up um, those are gonna start falling away because um, cancer and Venus just cannot function under those types of situations. So you'll find yourself just seeking that feeling of comfort and safety and just of nurture. You know, all those warm bubbly feelings that we get deep down inside. And it's the same with your money. If you're worried about your job, like you could be let go at any moment, then um, this might be one of the months where you might start looking for um, a backup or you know a plan B because any type of insecurity, anything that you don't feel safe in or secure in, um, especially when it comes to your money and your love, it just it it does not serve you, and so you might feel a need for change within this month if the things that are in your life right now are no longer serving you. So enjoy this Venus in Cancer season, you know, enjoy the vibes of just feeling like you have your favorite people surrounding you, like you have good food on the table and a nice warm bed, you know, all of the creature comforts. Enjoy all of that and um, also enjoy securing your future, you know, getting to whatever you need that is going to help you thrive in the future and help you feel like you're on the right path.